This is the fastest supercomputer in the Southern Hemisphere. Based in Canberra, it's helped Australian scientists develop life-saving drugs. The supercomputers are playing a greater and greater role in drug design. Forecast major weather events. All of that simulated weather data is right there on tap. Crunch massive numbers. We need huge computational power to actually solve these problems that we can't do anymore just with mathematics. And map the universe. Every time we update a telescope, we get bigger amounts of volume, so we need supercomputers to keep up with it. But what is a supercomputer? The current supercomputer is equivalent to about 80,000 desktop machines hooked up together. So if you give five billion people calculators, it would take them six months to do the same number of calculations as the supercomputer can do in one second. MCI has about 50 petabytes of storage. Uh, that's about 100,000 MacBooks worth of data. Without a supercomputer, I wouldn't be able to do my job. From my research point of view, I'm really interested in fluid dynamics. Fluid is everywhere. You know, it's water, it's air, it's blood, it's all around us. If we understand how fluid moves at a fundamental level, it makes it much clearer how we can best harness its movement so that people can benefit in the future. Putting things into climate models like how does the heat from the sun reflect off the earth, how is it absorbed by the sky, how do fluid motions mean the air gets pushed around, what role does the ocean have. We use climate models to simulate the physical processes. We're also searching for what is in our solar system to what is in the universe. In order to process terabytes of data every single night, you need to be able to process it in real time. If we don't catch that within minutes to hours, we've clearly missed one of the biggest discoveries of the 21st century. So we need the supercomputers to keep up with it. I do computer simulations of the proteins that are involved in drug transport. We finesse the drug before we take them into the lab. What may take 20 years to get a drug to clinical trials can be cut down significantly using a supercomputer. It's Australians dying and we can prevent that. But technology is rapidly changing. An iPhone 5 has the same processing power as the supercomputer we had in 1998. Our supercomputer is ageing at the moment. Other countries are starting to outstrip us. If we don't keep up with the way that technology is advancing, we're going to get left behind. In November 2012, Australia's supercomputer was ranked 24th in the world. It's now slipped to 76th. Soon, we'll disappear off the list completely because our five-year-old supercomputer has reached the end of its life. An urgent replacement is needed to maintain and increase Australia's research capability. If you want to fuel your society, you need to keep up with the advancements of technology. Otherwise, you're asking questions from 10 years ago when we want to be going to the future. And so that's why we need this huge nationwide facility that everyone can use to do the kind of research that Australia needs to do. Investing in the future and ensuring Australian research remains at the cutting edge. The power of modern day technology and computers will allow us to make those big discoveries. That is the remarkable, amazing thing of the era we live in now.